due to the fixture congestion, it's getting awfully tight. And then after today, we could find ourselves in a final. Who knew? Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode with Manchester United. And yes, five games in ten days this time. We have got a little bit of a break in between each one. Although we have had a run of, uh, well we did lose to Man City last episode. But we're following straight on with a Villa game and then Lazio. And it's this episode which we could find ourselves in the Europa League Cup final. And it could be against Arsenal. It could be an all-English final. But we have got to hold our nerve. So, But first, Aston Villa, who are lying in 17th position. Uh, they're not escaping... Uh, relegation just yet but we could um, make it worse for them if we beat them right then we're going to start off with the herring goal we've got Bissaka welcome him back we've got Tuanzibi Lindelof and Sean Maguire's tied uh, McTominay starts with Pogba we've got Sancho Fernandez, and James in the midfield and then we've got Anthony Martial we welcome him back he's looking for his 20th goal of the season let's hope he can get it today he can play up to about 75 minutes fitness wise but I think I'm going to try and push it for a, f a full length or we might switch him half time we shall see so let's jump straight into the game and uh, let's uh, get this 90 minutes done I, d I think winning the league is beyond us now as you've seen in the end of the last episode we are quite a way back even if we win our games now Man City only need one win from the last three and I think they're more likely to get it uh, but I think if you're one of the sharpest eyes out there, they may have noticed that Arsenal were top of the table. That's a great goal by Sancho, but 1 0 up after 25 seconds. His 13th of the season, Pogba with the assist, and uh, we're rocking again. Why couldn't they do this against Manchester City? Sure, into Pogba, just flicks it on, but uh, Sancho with a volley. Goalkeeper stood no chance whatsoever. But Trezeguet is in on goal and De Gea with another save. De Gea is a three off the clean sheets total. Uh, that's uh, lead in the race for uh, goalkeeper of the year, I guess. Um, three clean sheets. So he's got 16 this season. 19 is the ones that are on top. Arsenal, look at that. They're top of the table. How did that happen? That just happened out of nowhere. We are now five points behind Liverpool, but we have got the game in hand. We're just hoping that um, we can keep a clean sheet here and we will win the game. We're just hoping Liverpool will slip up and let us just nab that third spot. Lindelof calmly brings it down to Shaw. Shaw plays it all the way back to De Gea. It is a nice feature to have it passing it back to the goalkeeper, but I don't like it being passed back. I want him pushing forward. I don't want the goalkeeper to be involved when he gets past the halfway line. He should never be involved. McTominay threads it through to Sancho into the box and uh, James this time in behind the defence. Uh, it's going to be allowed as well. His eighth goal of the season, which is wonderful stuff. And I'll tell you what, his first full season with the United and I think he's done absolutely wonderfully. He can come in and just, uh, well, just step it up there as well. I mean, look at that. Absolutely brilliant. We have got some breathing space now, but can we get another one? This could be a big score. And heading over to uh, Italy in Lazio, we could end up... Uh, this could be a big confidence booster, especially losing away to Man City 1-0. Are we anywhere? Well, James again. Our goal difference is looking okay. We've scored 60 goals this season in the league, which is a, which is nice. It's a big improvement uh, from what United are playing at the moment. Bissaka, right-hand side. Sanchez, Fernandez, McTominay over the bar coming up to half time and we sh it should be uh, oranges to give him a little bit of a boost and 19 shots I mean where was this at the Etihad right Lindelof now plays it into James James to Lindelof lovely play Sancho down the line is he going to do it does it to Bissaka that's wonderful is he going to thread it in there now McTominay now can we get a third goal Pogba sails just wide not sure what sort of team I'm going to take to Italy. Do we just play defensively? Of course we don't. We, we don't play defensively. We haven't played it all season. And it's, we seem to have... Uh, well, we're in the top four. and want to stay in the top four. As long as we can uh, come away with a victory here. That leaves us with three games to go in the league. Trezeguet over the far side. Gilbert said we do try and intercept it. But not quite target now 
Is he going to play inside Trez again? The danger man, target again. It's, um, it's got plenty of space. Oh, I thought that was in. That looked like it was going in, to be fair. Right, now we have an attack. Shaw to Pogba. Shaw crosses it. Good ball in to nobody in particular, but McTominay on the half volley. And it goes wide. 15 to go. I should really start making a few substitutions, really. McTominay on the ball. He's going to thread it to the other side of the pitch. Of course he does. James, a little bit of space. Pogba threads it to Sancho. In on goal. Off the post. Why did our two players just run away from it? I don't get it. Bissaka to Tomine. Is he going to play it back to him? No. He goes through the player. Pogba. He switches over to the far side now, which is... Wow. It was hardly worth talking about that. That was just... Uh, head. It's like just headed it down to the, to the goalie. We only seem to be taking 3,000 fans away with us each game. Is this something that generally happens? I would have thought we'd have a bigger contingent than that. Ming's on the board to Konsa. They're just playing it round at the back. We just want to shout at them as well and just say, just get a little bit creative. Can we just tackle? He does tackle Sancho. Well done, son. Nice to have him back as well. And, wow. I don't see the point of that at all right I want to make a substitution let me take make a sub Yunes now on the ball Yunes to Mings over the top we should we do intercept it and James nabs it McTominay the midfielder has been really strong Fernandez has not been existent really but he has made a couple of touches Sanchez just skips past his man there or through him he's on the ball again crosses it again to nobody we're not passing it to our men Lindelof plays it out wide to James. That's a good ball. Cross comes in. We not we do find Bissaka and Fernandez again. Another shot and it goes wide. Right, I'm making a substitution this time with 10 minutes to go. Sancho, you can come off for Charm. Barbosa can go up top. And we're going to say Pereira can go in for Fernandez. Three changes over the top. Barbosa is in on goal. <laughs> wow. Our finishing has not been brilliant, has it? Villa nil, United two, and uh, we're looking good for finishing in the top four. Well done, guys. There we go, fourth spot. We have got a game in hand over Liverpool. We, if we do that, then we can just go within the one point. Hopefully, they'll just mess up. Lazio in a couple of days, so we'll see you guys in a few seconds. Due to the uh, fixture congestion, we have got a lot of tired players out here. We've got De Gea in goal. We've got Dalot, Twanzibi, Maguire and Williams. Then McTominay and Fred. Pog was battered. Bissaka's battered as well. We've got Barbosa, Fernandez, and Sancho. Sancho is tired, but I am going to be playing him. Same with Fernandez. We need star quality players out there. And we're going to have Martial up front. Uh, Rashford is on the bench. We are going to utilise him. And we are going to put him up front as well. We may end up going two up front, but hopefully we shouldn't need to. We're protecting a 3 1 lead. Can we get ourselves into the final as we kick off? We don't see the highlight to kick off. Lazio now on the ball. Just don't concede a goal. Score a goal and we should be okay after that. Lazio on the edge of the box. The shot comes in and it's gone over. Is that our lads there just behind the goal? Goal kick for Lazio. Plays it out. Why we sh We're not underneath it. We run past it. Williams. You've got to do better. Radu on the ball. Plays it up to the far side. Williams loses his man. Quadrado. That's a very, very good stop by De Gea. Very good stop. Corner ball. Alberto. 20 minutes gone. We just need to hold on for another 70 minutes. Just don't concede a goal and we won't have any problems at all. United, come on, we're coming forward. We're closing them down. Martial, you need to do better than that. Away from home, I think we we really need to put on a defence. That's offside referee, surely. Williams nicks it from a Mobley. That's beautiful defending, but I'm sure that was offside. He didn't peel away that quickly. Alberto with another right. It gets another chance to whip it in. And we do. At least it's not penalty. Normally. Oh, we do nick it though. Barbosa, go on forward, son. You want to play in the final of the European Cup? This is your time. This is your chance. Dalot now to McTominay. Loses out as poor. And Oh no. It's a good stop. It's a very, very good stop. Who was that? It wasn't Maguire. Twanzibi, he lost his man. And he went past him with ease. 
60 minutes to go into the arms of uh, De Gea. I mean, I'm getting rather nervous now. Although we have had majority of the possession, though. I mean, is that the formation is we're playing? I don't know. They're playing with wing backs. I mean, that is the sort of formation we should really be going down to, I think. Bring on uh, Fosu Mensah and put him in the defensive midfielder role. But we shall see. We're, whichever way the next goal goes, we're on the attack. Hurrah! Williams to Fred. Come on then, son. Don't lose it. He tries to spray it and he gets intercepted in the middle. But Twanzibi does win it back, though. Dalot now on the far side is going to cross it in. Cross it in. Ralph Fred with a blast over the bar. Got 25 minutes to hold on. Arsenal look like they're going through. Aubameyang with two goals. Lazio now, 20 minutes to go. Are they going to get a goal back? No, they don't. It's over the bar and it's a goal kick. Fernandes, you've just not been in the game. We might just drop him back to three in midfield. Barbosa can go up front. Sancho goes there and they're going to bring in Rashford. The old triangle switcheroo. 15 to go. Can we hold on? We're doing well away from home. Nil-nil, which is really good. 10 to go now. And uh, it looks like we could be walking away unscathed I'm hoping as long as we don't concede the city gold here De Gea handles it with superbly takes it off the head of uh, Brandon Williams though <laughs> Rashford should pick that up good distribution from De Gea Rashford down the line come on, you got fresh legs you should be able to take him on he does into the anybody there Fernandez he hasn't done nothing all the game and then he almost pops up with a winner five minutes to go Arsenal 3-0 Fernandez now with another free kick Oh, it's, it's getting close. It's getting close. Can we just get through to the final? De Gea just plays out to Onzibi, who plays it out to Sancho, who's just not really looking at the ball there. 30, 40 seconds to go, and that should be about it. We have run our socks off 130 kilometres. We have two more than Lazio, and our ratings are not that great either. Averaging 6.92 is not the best. But to come away here with a draw... I mean, again, the sloppy play there. More training is needed on through balls. But that is it. We are through to the Europa League Cup final. Appreciate the efforts. I'm going to passionately say, well done. I'm very happy with the way you played. You kept a clean sheet away from home. Arsenal win 3 0, 4 0 on aggregate. And we're both. It's going to be an all English final. Holders of Chelsea. So it's going to be another English club then. First leg tramp. There we go. It's. We were under the cosh a little bit. I think it's the first time we've really been outshot. We received 2.15 million for get winning in the final. Do we get anything for being in the final? Uh, we played Arsenal in the final. Uh, Marshall has got a goal drought. He's now played 10 matches without final net. Well, he has been injured for quite a while. We are going to stop it there. We, When we come back, we will be playing Newcastle and Tottenham. Both home games and both games where you would like us to win. We need to win if we're going to finish in the top four and hopefully grab a third spot or even second spot. That could be something new. So if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.